Hello there, time for another celebrity makeup bag video where I research a star whose beauty style I admire and see which products we have in common. The series is full of beauty bits I can vouch for and you might spot something in common with someone you're a fan of too. Sadie Sink is the youngest star I've ever featured. Many of you will have been busy binging Stranger Things 3 lately, I'm still recovering. Sadie made her Broadway debut at 10, started in Stranger Things at 15, quite an overachiever. She seems incredibly sweet, cool, calm and collected. Even the name Sadie Sink sounds like it's straight out of a movie. Now 17, she goes for lots of subtle beauty looks, some colour on the eyes or lips sometimes, but it's always understated and youthful. Sadie often works with makeup artists Kayleen McAdams and Quinn Murphy. Really admire both of their work and love that they often share product details on Instagram. Let's see what she's worn. These two products consistently pop up in this series because so many stars and celebrity makeup artists use them for a great glow. Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter can be mixed into your foundation or tinted moisturiser, applied lightly all over the face for a healthy glow like Sadie, or worn as a more intense cream highlight. Certainly a celebrity favourite and I can see why. Sadie was pretty in pink at the recent Stranger Things 3 premiere in Pat McGrath makeup. Kayleen McAdams applied the Skin Fetish Highlighter and Balm Duo with a balm end for a dewy glow and an intense cream highlight. I believe she used more of a pink shade than mine and the packaging's also been updated. Still a great versatile product. Sadie's romantic flushed Golden Globes look in 2018 was courtesy of this Chanel Palette Essentiel in Beige Claire. Three cream textures textures to blush, highlight and conceal. The blush is my favourite, a really pretty dewy neutral peach, but Sadie wore the highlighter and concealer. I'm pretty addicted to my Clay de Peau concealer so I don't use this one too often and the slightly cream to powder feel of the highlighter means I prefer it all over the lid as a glowy eyeshadow. Chanel's Jus Contrast Powder Blush is a classic with a signature floral scent. The texture is light and silky, so as a big cream blush fan, it's a powder I'm not afraid to apply. Sadie has worn the pinky shades Quintessence, Rose Initiale and Rose Bronze, but similar tones in my collection are Jersey, a beautiful sandy nude, and Angelique, a summery peachy rose. Two Chanel eye products created this stunning Emmys look last year. Sadie's natural light brown shadow included the Stilo Ombre et Contour in Contour Claire, a cool toned brown crayon that's useful to add definition in the crease of the eye. Kayleen McAdams also used Chanel's eyeshadow quad in Claire Obscure with soft matte browns, but the closest I have is Candeur et Experience, their recognisable red toned palette, but the two fairest matte brown shades are really wearable for a subtle smoky look. For something fresh, makeup artist Quinn Murphy used Gillian Dempsey's lid tint in Dew on Sadie during New York Fashion Week and at a Harper's Bazaar shoot. This super creamy shadow is suitably titled because it creates the most dewy, light-catching, instantly editorial look. Big fan of these. Sadie wears a lot of Chanel makeup like I do and Kayleen often applies their inimitable mascara on her. I wore it for years but when I switched to La Volume I didn't look back. My holy grail mascara for length, definition and volume oomph while still looking really natural. Sadie's lip look at the Emmys was particularly memorable. That red suited her colouring so well and the shade was Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet Extreme in Ideal, spelt like ideal. An intense matte but still creamy texture and such a bold bright red. Speaking of bright red, great to see some Glossier in this lineup. Quinn Murphy applied Glossier Play's Vinylic Lip in Baby, a glossy siren red on Sadie for a Harper's Bazaar shoot. Love this comfortable formula, it has a sweet apricot flavour and never feels sticky. Back to her polished Golden Globes look and this lip shade was Chanel's Precision Lip Definer in 34 Natural, a famous flattering neutral, and their Rouge Coco Gloss in the sheer baby pink colour Icing. The shade I personally love from this line is Caramel, a rich brownie nude. I'm rarely a gloss person but I love this formula, it's so luxurious and smooth with plenty of colour payoff. Pretty impressive list of red carpet looks for someone so young. Certainly excited to see more of Sadie's work. I'd love to hear which look was your favourite and if you spotted any products in common with her too. Let me know if you're a Stranger Things fan as well. What did you think of season three? Hopefully we don't have to wait another two years for the next one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.